Hi there guys, it's Josh here, welcome back to another episode of Herkus Shell Gaming. So we're starting chapter 2 of Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Um, I've just started this a couple of seconds in from where we left off last time. All we've kind of done is walk away from that inner sanctum and we're just backtracking. Um, I think we're supposed to go back to that kind of locked door that we saw right at the start of chapter 1 and hopefully that's going to be open for us now. Really looking forward to kind of seeing where this game takes us. Uh, I had a few complaints last time about the kind of camera and to some extent the controls as well and I'm really hoping I can kind of get past those and sort of get used to them because uh, I have mentioned uh, in the last video that I have played Ninja Gaiden 2 back on Xbox uh, 360 and I really enjoyed that and I remember it being really slick oh the art of the fire wheels I assume that's our kind of magic attack uh, yeah so I'm just kind of hoping this starts to feel a bit more slick and a bit more natural as well like that game did okay so we've got our dragon sword shurikens ah here we go so we get sort of fireballs around us but how do we do that? So, I'm just playing around here guys just to see how we do this um, no that's no, not that The only problem is I get the kind of slightly more old school approach um, of kind of figure it out, but it is a little bit annoying. Nope. Ah, there we go. So it's triangle and circle together. Hmm. Would be nice if there were some button tutorials. Yeah, there had to be a secret behind here. Cool, bit more health. Yeah, I, I wish it did tell you a bit more just about how things work. I know that's me being a bit weak, but and I, I appreciate, I think this game originally came out in 2004, well the original Ninja Gaiden did. Um, I don't know when Sigma came out, I assume kind of, because I think Black came out in between. So this is probably 2006, around that sort of time. But there was loads of games around 2006 that were, um, that would kind of give you a tutorial for everything. Okay, definitely still... It's so funny, just between playing the chapters I'm already feeling rusty in the combat here. And that's something that's a little bit annoying. I keep accidentally clicking the kind of score thing on the left stick. Keeps popping up. Something I do really like about this so far though is the almost Resident Evil style feel of it. Like the inventory, the items, uh, that first puzzle with the kind of replacing the samurai mask felt quite Resident Evil. Nice little slide. Oh, flowers! Very Ghost of Sish Ghost of Tsushima esque. Okay, guys. Oh no, I still just don't feel very slick at this. I promise I'll try and get better. <sighs> Hit that left stick again. I do imagine this is one of those games where when you get good at it, 
and don't keep hitting the score menu like me. But it's so satisfying. But I just I think I'm gonna need a lot of work to feel that. And that was my Oh! That was pretty cool. But I I guess I'm just kind of at the point where I'm not really seeing how I'd go about doing that. It sort of feels like I'm mashing a lot of bu buttons at the moment. Okay, we got the map to Hayabusa Village. Cool. So we're heading over that way. Okay, can we run across this again? Yeah, looks like we just sort of head straight across. Great! And. Any collectibles? Oh. oh, I've just been doing that anyway. So I guess you kind of swim if you're not moving. Doesn't look like any collectibles are there though. Okay, let's so see what's in here first. Nice small health. Just have a quick save. Something I have noticed as well is uh, Ryu's clothes. Like, he seems to be wearing a purple sort of gi and mask. I don't know if it's called a gi, I just remember that from judo. Um, and I don't. I think that's kind of what he wore in the original, like NES Ninja Gaiden. I'm just kind of because I remember in Ninja Gaiden too, he was wearing like black and looked a bit more sort of ferocious. So I wonder if that will kind of change at all. Okay. Resident Evil Four vibes here. Okay, let's go. so we're going to have to find the statue's head. Let's see what's down here. Right. It's got to be something. That's quite sad. But he had some health on him, so thank you. Your sacrifice was not in vain. I seem to be able to do all the cool stuff when I'm not trying to. Oh, what is. Oh dear. Okay, so we've got a ranged enemy. And those seem to hone in quite quickly. Oh, this camera. I've been doing a bit of reading online and I've heard that. I think it's like R1 if you keep pressing that or keep bringing the camera behind you. But I almost think. I know what I'm like, and I almost think that's going to make things harder. Okay, we've chopped his head off, that's good. Don't quote me on that. How do we tackle this ranged guy? Problem is, I have to keep pointing the left stick towards the enemy I want to hit, and that's when I'm accidentally clicking it. Okay, that's cool. We're getting the timing down slightly better on the range, guys. Okay. Nice. Cool. Sorry, I'm being a bit quiet here, guys. I'm just focusing. It's pretty intense. <laughs> I think the yellow orbs, from what I remember in Ninja Garden 2, you could spend them on stuff. I don't know if we're going to find a shop at some point. I can't figure out when I when I can hit him. Smoke bombs are useless. Let's see, can I get around this? 
Ah, there we go. When he's charging up his attack, you can hit him. Cool. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> nice. See, fights like that are why I'm currently relieved I'm only a very, very, very small channel with a handful of people watching me. <laughs> <laughs> Not big enough to have any real like ninja guide and purists watching this and raging at my incompetence. Accidentally set a smoke bomb off. Cool, we got the statue head there. Crikey. Pretty depressing. Okay, what's the life of the gods? So nine of them make the complete thing we found in chapter one. I did, earlier on I did think that um, when I was playing through chapter one, that usually in these sorts of kind of hack and slash action games, anything that permanently increases your health or magic, you tend to have to collect quite a few of. Okay, so we've got a bow and arrow. That's pretty cool. Uh, I guess I have to equip it. Yeah, there we go. No enemies down there by the looks of it. Without being harsh, that does look a bit dated. You could cheer up slightly, right? You doesn't seem to be too sympathetic to his fallen clansmen. Okay, so that refreshes my Nimpo. I can't remember what Po means. I remember Do is Wei, and I think Jutsu is Art. Okay, so we found our shop. Can we upgrade the sword? No, don't have enough. But we can buy health, that's pretty cool. It's funny, because I'm looking at the Talisman of Rebirth, which I think we got one of. And it costs a lot, it's about 15,000. Just to kind of bring you back when you die. But you could easily buy tons of the kind of smaller health potions um, for the same amount. And surely that's going to be more effective. Right, come on, Josh. Channel the inner ninja. That's a bit good. I can't tell if there's like a parry system. 
because occasionally my blocks seem to be more effective than others. Like it seems to actually cause them to rebound slightly. Not really too sure. It was definitely something I really enjoyed in uh, Ghost of Tsushima was the kind of sword play and the parrying and the jewels and stuff. This seems really technical so far. Sort of more of a mix-up between that kind of Tsushima style parrying and blocking and stuff and dodging um, and the more kind of frantic sort of God of War Bayonetta style and Devil May Cry. Oh dear. Okay. Folks on horseback. Right. Swallow strike seems to work well. Oh, come on. <laughs> if anyone's ever played uh, Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice reminds me of, I think it's like second third boss in that, the guy on horseback. He absolutely dominated me as well. <laughs> okay, how can I do this? The problem is the swallow strike is quite inconsistent. I think you have to be within a certain range to actually hiss it like that. Because other times I try it and I just go straight up in the air. That's the one. Right. And he's still alive, so let's try and finish him off if I can. Oh no, there's more! Okay, they've given me the bow and it's useless. That's it, Ryu. I don't know if it's Ryu or Ryu. I've always said Ryu um, ever since playing the early sort of Street Fighter games. this game was as violent in the original version um, because I've only really sort of scratched the surface on my research into the differences between the Sigma games and the kind of originals um, I know in 2 Sigma is significantly less violent but I don't know what the case is with 1 because this is pretty, pretty brutal like a 2004 Xbox game Oh, there were some pretty pretty hardcore ones around then. I always remember Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance on the PS2. I used to absolutely love that. Okay, cool. Please don't send another one. Fight with the camera here, big time. Okay, nice. Not so tough without your horse, are you? I made that reference and now I'm trying to remember what it was from. I think it was Kindergarten Cop. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. Another shot. Got enough to buy a couple health potions, I think. Okay, let's head up here.
That's great, yeah. All that blue my disc is on either side. And surely I can't go back to the other one. It's always something I've really liked about Japanese culture with their kind of focus on spirits and you know, that idea of kind of a cold place in the woods where the spirits kind of linger. I remember reading a really good book on that when I was a kid. Um, it was one of those like World Book Day releases. It was by Darren Shan. Um, I can't remember what it was called, but it was it was very very short. It was only like 40 pages or so, and I think it was free. And it was about a little girl in Japan who went out and sort of got dared to stay in the cemetery overnight in the woods. Oh, I have to try and find that out and get back to you on that because that was brilliant. That looks like a boss. And more like the guy from Sekiro. <laughs> okay, we got some Reigns guys too. Know how to tackle them a bit better. Let's try the Nimbo. Okay, that helps a lot. Swallow Strike. Just spamming that is going to be quite useful. It does look quite intimidating, this guy. I'm not loving these infinitely respawning ranged enemies. is I don't want to just fixate on him because I don't want to get overrun by these guys but at the same time they're just going to keep respawning Let's try and get... he does seem to take quite a lot of damage from hits but it's just sort of getting close enough to hit him without him knocking you back The horse started breathing fire. There's something I quite like about the bosses so far in this game. It's a um, they seem to go into a kind of second and third phase, just like they do in the kind of Soulsborne games. But they're not as obvious. They don't seem to start kind of yeah. They don't turn massive or change or anything. You've just got to be observant and realise their attack pattern changes. Should hopefully have enough health to get me through this. I've noticed these blue orbs give me health as well, it's quite useful. Probably find out if I'd use a bow here, it'd be really useful. We got there. Oh, and we got a counter attack. So whilst blocking square or triangle. Cool. I wonder if that means kind of block and square and triangle together like as a parry, sort of at the exact moment it would hit you, or whether it's you kind of hold it and Press square or triangle when it would hit you. I suppose we'll have to find out. That was a good one. When you can pull those off, it's really satisfying. 
just being able to do it consistently. Oh, where'd he pop up from? Something I've noticed about these uh, Reigns guys is they're not... They're sort of like glass cannons, really. They don't much help if they pack a punch. Oh, I died! I just used my uh, thing of rebirth. Okay. In a lot of ways, this is very much a kind of... Dark Souls before Dark Souls. In terms of you have to respect even the fodder enemies, because they can just wipe you out. Got to be something down here. Yes, I needed that. Ow. Yeah, I'm gonna go and save before I go in there. Right, up we go. Into the burning dojo. Okay, nothing along there. Hopefully, there's no backdraft. Yeah, let's use the smoke bombs just in case. Where do I go? Don't really want to touch the fire. Is that a gap? Perfect. No, not up that way. Ah, you can knock the panels out. Great. Let's try this. <laughs> oh, that was a good place to put enemies. That was quite good. It does make me wonder why they were just stood there in the middle of this, so... That was a counter I just did there. That was definitely a counter. Cool. Seems a little bit hit and miss, a bit like the uh, swallow attack, but it's quite cool when you pull it off. Okay. Hopefully we can find our way out of here. Oh, nice. Sweet, another life for gods. Definitely looking forward to upgrading my health bar at some point. Okay, I don't know if that was our love interest or what. And I assume he's got the Dark Dragon Blade. 
This sort of smells like a fight that I'm probably going to lose. Um, I don't know. Yeah, this seems pretty... Oh dear. Yeah, I think we were supposed to lose that. Okay, there we go guys. That was chapter 2, Hayabusa Village. We've cleared that. Let's quickly see what ranking we've got. Hey, Master Ninja. Can't ask for any more than that. Unless there's one above it. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, can't wait to see you round next time. Take care and stay safe. Bye bye.